Okay, this is Dark Darcy Jackal on YouTube again, and this is the second walkthrough for Submachine. This is for Submachine 1, the basement. Uh, so uh, unless you did not watch my first tutorial for, or walkthrough, whatever you want to call it, for uh, Submachine 0, the way I found the game was just go on to pastelgames.com, click on games, and then flash games, and then just kind of scroll down until you find it. Submachine 1. Uh, oh, look, uh, I don't know, if, if you haven't watched my, uh, my first walkthrough, then you hear me babble about when this game first came out. So the 3.0 version came out in October 2007, and that sounds about right. I think I found this game, well, my brother introduced me to this game in 2009. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Like, oh, jeez, the sound's back on. Okay, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, and I'm going to go down here and beat my computer sound, because I do not want it to come through in the recording. Okay, basically for the machine one, it's called the basement, of course. Uh, you're just going to click through rooms, and find items and then use those items to find other items. And what you're after are these four triangular thingies here to put in this plaque up on the wall. And it doesn't really matter how you start out, it just depends on what which items you collect in what order. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and start on the right. I do not remember what that does. It's been so long since I remember how to activate that. So do not ask me how to activate that. Uh, you can probably get another tutorial to see how you can activate that, but it's it's really nothing special for this game. It's just like an extra, uh, what do you want to call it? Like an extra level, like just just an extra doodad. Wait, what you do want to do is that lever. There are two other levers like this, and you need all you need to pull down all three. So just a heads up. This one y you can't pull down yet. Um, you have uh, I'll explain that in a minute later too. You got a lot of rooms to look through. Okay. You'll need that, and there's your second lever. So all you have to do is find another one. One more. When you attach the valve, go ahead and spin it, and that's all you have to do. This is, see it says sub 2. This is a review of Sub Machine 2, which is called The Lighthouse. And that one's uh, very much different from this one. Probably even a little creepier. Okay, these, you can change these valves here. But you need the code first, and I'll show you how to find the code here in a minute. You need nothing else in this room except for this coin. Up on the coin you'll see four numbers, 7, 1, 8, and 3. They will be different every single time you play the game, so you need the coin every single time you play the game. Don't try and putting in these numbers um, for the chest that these numbers open. Don't use these four, because it's not going to be the same every time you play the game. Okay, that's number three. And I'll show you what, what that opened up or whatever uh, in a minute. This is just a diary page explaining, um, and I'm not going to read through that. You can if you want to, I'm not. Okay, remember those doodads up there? There is your code. So straight, straight, vertical. Go back in the room, make it vertical. Oh, darn it. I was wrong, sorry. Once you make those vertical, you gotta spin the thing again. And we'll go ahead and go to the right. Okay, I mean, that's the left. This is left over here. This is right over here. Okay, left. Four numbers. Four numbers off your coin. 7183. Seven, seven, yeah. I don't have the greatest memory, so. You ask, ask me anything about like cell division or Punnett Square or something, I'll tell you right off the bat whatever you can do with that, with ge genetics and stuff. I totally get that. Uh, some of the things I don't remember that well. Okay, this room. I really do like this room because it's probably the easiest one that you'll find. Because there are certain ways, like you can click every single bell that you want, but there is a code to it. And see if I remember it. Just go straight across and then go back one. That way you don't have to click like every single bell, like uh, 
like I used to when I f started this game. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay. That's your uh, tile D. That's your first, um, your corner piece there. And all you need to do is find three more just like it. Okay. You need to find, of course, we already found that fuse. Uh -huh. Okay, now that's complete. And remember when we uh, turned the wheel thing up there? This is why. In order to get the pipe, the water pipe to burst, you have to turn the gauges on those pumps. And then when you have the right code, you go back up and you turn the wheel, and that makes the pipe explode so that way you can get the pearl. And I'll show you what the pearl does here in a minute. Need to click on the radio. I cannot stress that enough. You need to click on the radio because you need. As soon as it stops moving here, this spoon. Yes, it's this spoon. You will need this spoon. Okay, and your three like electronic lever thingies activated this, so that way you can get your next tile. Okay. Now we gotta go get the other two. And those are pretty easy to get. Go back into this room. No, don't use your spoon yet. Pull your lever down first. And the way you get the lever to stick is when you put the red fuse in with the rest of the fuses in that fuse box down uh, another three stories in that basement. Alright? So you have to do that in order to activate the electricity and then you have to put the spoon on top to short circuit it. Poof. And you get your next tile. Next one's pretty simple. Go back to the room with the grandfather clock and put the pearl right there. It must be a weighted pearl or something, I don't know. And then just place your tiles like so. Now if I move too fast through the rooms, uh, just leave it in the comments and let me know because like I know where everything is in this game. I've played this one like a gazillion times just because it's like the one of the easiest ones and it's one of my favorites. Uh, so if I just move through the rooms too fast and you guys didn't get it, if you decided to watch this at all, just let me know and I'll make another one where I'm a, a, a bit more slow in clicking where the rooms go but uh, shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Yes, you will have to go in the elevator. Yes, you will have to press the button. And yes, you will have to press the down button. I know it doesn't make sense, but most of the stuff in this game doesn't make any sense. And then you'll just walk on your own, you don't do any more clicking. And that's it. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, or just, just something that say like, hey, you talk too much, <laughs> I'm tired of hearing your voice, um, or say, hey, you, you need to really slow down with the clicking to make sure that you get everything in the room, just let me know. Don't be mean about it though. There's no point in being mean. It's really just not nice. Why can't people be nice anymore? But uh, yeah. So that's it. And I will see you guys later when we do some machine uh, two.